Hello everybody and welcome to another video. It's a beautiful day today. So I thought Rob and myself would go out for a bit of a hikoi and a bit of a fish while we're there as well. Had our first frost this morning. Pretty cold airs. So we're heading off to a location that I've been before. You guys have seen when I've come here one day and I caught some kahawai on the old spinners, I had a really good day. And so we're heading back to the spot there, or around that same area, for another fish today. I also have with me some fish fingers and some eggs. We actually got two types of fish fingers today. Got a cheap type and a more expensive type of fish finger. So we're gonna try those out. See which one tastes better. There's Motohora over there. Some boats out there, a couple of sailboats. There's Fakari out there. The wind's blowing in the right direction too. Good for the balloon if you get a kahawai. So all we do now is try and find us a place to set up. We have the wind a bit here as well. So I'm going to find us a log to sit on and we'll get our bait out of my bag. Went down there and saw Neil down there at Fishing and More in the Quayside building in Whakatane. Got my bait from Neil, always gives good service, great bait. Go and see Neil, I know some of you guys have gone and seen him and mentioned my name. Pretty good spot here, this will do. We're almost at the river mouth. Always got to bring this just in case you never know. So, got my frying pan, got my bait in here. I'll get the bait out, get all this out. I'm going to find us a nice chair to sit on and We'll get make sure to dig holes behind us. Right, bait's all in here. I'm going to set the hand line up and we'll put a balloon on it before I cast out. That'll do. That will do right nicely there, my friends. Alright, so he's got a live bait out, that guy down there, and I haven't got a buddy live bait yet. I've had no luck on the fishing yet, had a few bites and that's about it. Moved down a little bit, trying to find another hole. It's a bit hard to see them here at the moment. Right, so since the fishing is pretty bad, I'm going to hook up our fish fingers when we're down here. Our wood stove, so we'll set it up. 
I'll get it going. Look, that's a lovely feed up. So, while you guys are watching my rod, I was collecting bits of wood. So, that should be enough there for our know, fish fingers and eggs today, hopefully. Our fish fingers. Oh no, goddamn sand. Oh, they're out. Perfect. Can your gasification happening already? Right. Don't put sand in your fish fingers. So you've got these ones here. These are different sort of fish fingers. These two here are different to each other ones. Right. That's cooking way better. Had to put a little battery up here because of the wind. I was blowing all the fire this way rather than straight up into the frying pan so a little barrier there perfect now they're really cooking well let's pretend over this thing oh yeah look at that perfect oh yep nice mm -hmm. that's way better let's put our eggs in now whoa it's got full ball Hey rubber, all right. You know when to pop up, don't you? Hey. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Want to add any more wood? get any better than that does it guys all we need now is a nice kahawai on the old hand line put her out cook in here our fish fingers and eggs the balloon out there having a feed and then watching the balloon go under the water and hips the action and kingfish and then carry it all the way home on my on my back and I'll be happy as carrying that after a feed of fish fingers and eggs Okay, that's the pan for this afternoon. Hopefully it works. Round pan and the round plate. It doesn't get any better than that. Oh, we're just going to add a bit of salt onto our fish fingers. And that, my friends, is ready. What do you think? Crunchy ears? I can't really tell which fish finger is which. We have it, the food of gods. Fish fingers and eggs. Catch no fish, but we're eating fish fingers. And a fire is nearly out. There you go, it burns pretty quick, doesn't it? We've got the sauce again. And the garlic aioli, aioli. But here we are, check that out. First fish finger, here you go, and dip it in some erg. Oh, that's how you do it. Mmm. 
Mm-mm-mm. Man. Yeah. It's pretty primo. Mmm. Very tasty. So I enjoy hearing about, enjoy hearing from people in the comments on my videos, especially when I cook up fish fingers and eggs, how much you enjoy eating fish fingers and eggs now. And uh, Alicia and Henry sent me the photos of the fish fingers and eggs. It's delicious. So, who else out there enjoys eating fish fingers and eggs? Ten fry. Okay. It's really nice. I can taste the difference between the fish fingers. Which I can't really. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It's the fish finger and egg ice cream. Oh. Check that out. Man. This is a picture by itself. So I'll take Master and Egg and I shall show you guys, I shall feed it to you. Mm. There you go. Awesome, eh? Good noise. Now I've got to bring a tea bag. Get a cup of tea. Mm, man, that was delicious. That was so nice, hey Robert? Did you enjoy that? No, yeah, it was nice. A couple of casts, lost the bait. Didn't see the rod move, so uh, I'm gonna move down here a bit further. Going back towards where we're heading home. Uh, no luck over here. I haven't fished here before actually, in this spot here. I've walked down here quite a bit to the statue, but I've never actually fished here, so... Awesome. Awesome average cast. Right, so I'm just... I'm just sitting here enjoying the afternoon sun. Watching my rod and looking at the water and enjoying the... the lovely afternoon sunshine. It's really nice. It's really nice. You can see Maestro and look at her. Someone's going to be tired tonight. Welcome back. I'm packing up. Nothing at all. No action. Bait's getting hammered, but catching no fish. Haven't seen any any out workups or seen nothing out there. No, just looks like it's dead. Definitely it's dead here anyway. So I'm packing up. Going home. Had enough. You guys had enough? End up after those fish fingers. So, that's how fishing goes. This is hard to get off. Uh, oh, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this fish fingers and eggs video. Saddest so part of fishing is picking up. Especially if you've been caught in your fish like me. Uh, had enough, I 
there's nothing out here, it's dead airs. So, got a bit of a walk back to the car. I might put this video into a separate video, just call it Fish Fingers and Eggs and Fishing. Oh, Fish Fingers and Eggs. Fish Fingers and Eggs and Fishing Rod in the water. Yeah, that sounds better. Looking at my uh, puha patch to my left. Had a look the other day for some puha in there, and there is some growing. It's a bit small though, still, but give it a few more weeks of the sunshine and some more rain. It's lovely warmth. So I'll come along. Pretty good I reckon, so I'll catch you guys later, we'll take it easy, and we'll catch you all in the next video, bye. Let there be light, there's light, oh check that out, roast pork on the Weber, Ooh, I hear that crackle, some veggies down here, Pumpkin, potato, and kumara, and some garlic. On your Weber Master Touch Plus. Four seasons in Christchurch. Loving this. Loving this.